Staggered R1s are a common technique in Dark Souls 3 PvP. By attacking and pausing briefly before stepping forward slightly and attacking again, you get closer to the target you are swinging at. This is useful for mix-ups and punishing panic rolls. However, Dark Souls 3 stores moveset information in strange and mysterious ways. If you switch weapons after the initial attack and step into an attack after this, it will use the same swing animation as the initial weapon. This is called a step swap. While its setup is generally easy for experienced players to see, players who don't know about this glitch can be caught off guard. As a result, they might end up being clipped by ultra weapons moving at high speed. Step swapping also works on offhand weapons in the same way as mainhand ones. You attack with and swap your offhand weapon. As well, charged heavy attacks from mainhand weapons can be swapped. The underlying reasons for this in the game code may or may not differ, but the technique for swapping many weapon arts between weapons can be the exact same as a normal step swap. Today we will focus on three weapons that have complementary weapon arts. To do these swaps, all you need to do is perform the weapon art of one weapon, swap to the other weapon you want, and take a tiny step forward right before you activate the weapon art again. If you step forward too early, you will not retain the original weapon art. It is best to only step once you have changed weapons. The Leto weapon art applied to Gundyr's Halberd gives its charge extra range and duration. The Halberd first moves a short distance in one direction and then charges normally, actually allowing it to change direction and cover more distance than a normal charge. This swap does consume a great deal of stamina though, and can be completely reaction rolled by prepared opponents. Ring Knight Spear's weapon art can be swapped onto both Leto and Gundyr. The damage buff of the spear is applied to both weapons, but they do lose the hitboxes of a few attacks while it is active. Fortunately, the standard attack and weapon arts are not affected by this. Players who panic roll away from the following Gundyr charge on this swap can be severely punished for it, as they will be roll caught. There are plenty of other applications for this swap, but the primary focus of this video was to explain the weapons that I use. A couple of other common weapon swaps would be Yorshka's Spear into Avalon, which makes the bolts have an FP draining effect. Lothar's War Banner into Estoc applies the War Banner damage buff to the Estoc. Priest Chime into Sacred Chime of Filianor can allow you to use the Filianor buff without meeting the requirements. Giving you HP regeneration that remains when you put the Chime away. This swap is slightly more difficult because you must get through the dialog box telling you that you don't meet the requirements. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Thank you for watching.